trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv It's Palm Mash TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got another great interview coming up for you in a moment or two. But uh, always remember to click that subscribe button and the bell if you haven't done that yet. You'll always be informed of any new episodes coming your way. And uh, we love for you to leave a comment on the comment section. So I hope you do that. And you can also go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Palm Mash TV. And be sure to follow us there and send us an inbox, even comment the things you see there. And if you'd like to email us, you can. It's palmashtv, all one word, at gmail.com. And if you're a band or a solo artist that are interested in being on the show, just send us an email and we'll tell you how to do that. And uh, if you're a fan, uh, we accept emails there too. And uh, just you can talk to us and we'll get back to you. And all this is going to be recapped at the closing credits at the end of the show. So stay tuned for that. From Boston, Massachusetts, we have Kenny Sulcer with us today. And I think you're really going to like this guy. And he's an awesome artist. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but before we begin the show, you probably noticed behind me, I got this uh, floating shelf with all my awards. And I won a third award. This is just basically a plaque for the business. It's right here. And I just thought I'd show that off. And I just wanted to thank again everybody uh, that uh, watches the show and and uh, keeps it going. And also all the bands and the uh, all their promoters I have and um, and even the Rampage Music Awards and that's the award that I won this award for them and um, and I hope that you'll keep making the show get stronger and stronger as time goes on and and I would love that so anyway without further ado here is uh, Kenny Salser and it starts right now okay everybody it's interview time again and with us from uh, Boston Massachusetts we have Kenny Salser thanks for joining us Kenny Thanks a lot, Paul. I appreciate you having me and appreciate you being here. It's great to great to do this. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad to have you here today. Um, tell us a little bit about how it be, how it all started for you as far as being an artist. I mean, everyone has their own story. I'm sure you got a great story to share with us. Well, uh, it's maybe it's typical. I don't know. I was I was really young. I was 13 years old. I picked up a guitar, uh, and I just it kept on hacking away at me. You got to play. You got to play and uh, about six months later, I was actually walking down the street. I grew up in New York City, and some neighborhood kids who I sort of knew said, hey, you want to be in a band? And I said, okay, and started from there, and I never I never stopped. I mean, there were years that I um, slowed down. I did other things like recording studios, and but basically I just kept, kept at it. I, I love music, and it makes me feel centered and universal. I mean, uh, centered and in touch with the universe. That's what I meant to say. So I kept on playing and I was in bands all through high school and um, in college, it was a struggle to do bands, but I uh, <laughs> I, I um, was in college in, in New Jersey and I, Rutgers, and I left school and joined a rock and roll. We were in a rock and roll band and three of us moved up to the Boston area to, uh, to, play, to play music and that's what we did for a little while and then I stayed here mm. and, uh, so just kept on going just love music love well, playing. Well, that, well that's good man I'm glad that uh, you chose being music as uh, your way of life and making people happy and that's what it's all about you know yeah it's a strange experience because um, a strange perspective because in some ways I watch other people who are um, make more money than I do or have or um, I made some choices and I kind of ch chose music and I, in some ways music chose me and I just couldn't let go. It just seemed like it wasn't possible to stop playing music, you know? Oh, okay. Uh, kept on wanting to be better. It's, a, it's, being, um, it's good to be good at something and it's uh, good to work on something that it's my own. You know, I'm basically I'm self-employed self in playing music. I mean, I've done other things. Mm -hmm. But um, so it's my vision that manifests into the world. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, well, I mean, you do a great job at it, and we're going to find out, uh, or you at home are going to find out in a minute uh, when we play the music video. Uh, yeah. uh, well, what were some of the artists that you grew up with that really helped inspire you to be the artist you are today? Well, as a guitar player, I loved uh, Eric Clapton when I was in high school. He was a big influence, and um, um, I didn't know anything about real blues, you know, his influences. Uh, I listened to a lot of... Um, Motown pop music, um, and then when things started developing, a lot of album music, meaning that long, long songs. You know, mm -hmm. um, I listened to everything from uh, Grateful Dead, Chicago. Grateful Dead was a little later in college. You know, um, San Francisco music. I love that, and I got into um, little of everything. I mean, singer songwriter stuff didn't really happen until later on even though I was aware of people like James Taylor and, you know, um, um, a certain time period, I got into acoustic music and I um, stopped playing, I should, I, yeah, I kind of stopped playing uh, electric guitar for a while and got into the folk scene up here in Boston. And Boston and um, 90s was very, uh, uh, very vital. They called it the boot camp. There's no business here per se, but there's incredible talent and you developed your talents and you got exposed to a lot of a lot of great uh, music musicians clubs scenes community and of course all the music schools up here so this uh, Boston was very intense music scene hmm. and um, I learned a lot kept on learning learning how to write songs because when you're playing songs and acoustic music uh, either gotta get good or you stop <laughs> I mean, you know, maybe not great, but, you know, most people, um, I mean, most of us don't get great, but some, a lot of us keep on going at it. And, you know, if you play in clubs and concerts and everywhere over and over again, you get decent. So, you know, it's just. Yeah, well, those are great artists, obviously, because I, I love James Taylor and um, Chicago and all those other bands you mentioned. Uh, they're really great. And, um, I can really see that in your sound too. Yeah, um, I, was, I, I loved everything. I got into improv. I was into jazz for a while, um, or at least in, improv side of it. I, there was a point in time where I listened to everything. I listened to, um, this is when I was a young young adult. I um, listened to Grateful Dead, Joan Baez, Beach Boys, Miles Davis. Mm -hmm. And it could be in a row, you know, it just could be like changing the channel on the station on the radio just just put that on and just kept on listening to different things because to me music is about people music is people it's not um so i was interested in what how people um saw the world and that's how i see music as a uh, projection of people i don't know if that's the right word but Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah and, and you know, that was another great artist. I hadn't thought about her a long time, Joan Baez. You know, I, I remember a lot of her music back, uh, you know, when I was younger. And um, Joan Baez? Yeah. Al Guthrie? Um, I mean, he was, he was not as big as Joan Baez until uh, maybe a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, but he was, he, and then I started getting into people, what they got into, they were influenced by, like Eric Clapton was influenced by Electric Blues out of Chicago, Muddy Waters, Howling Wolf, you know, um, and then there's the, the, the Kings, B.B. King, uh, Albert King, and and um, Freddie King, and all the people I listened to, like Jerry Garcia, I, I went to their influences, you know, mm. and I started listening to early folk, traditional music as much as I could. You know, I was never into one genre of music. Mm -hmm. uh, I was into the band for a while. Remember the band? Oh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Band, Allman Brothers. I love the Allman Brothers. And um, I uh, <laughs> I was into a lot of different things. And I'm, I still am. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm always a multi-genre. Uh, that's what we, you know, uh, do here on Paul Mash TV. We... Uh, Right. But focus on every, every uh, genre for the most part. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, somebody might be watching this and they might want to get more, like, you know, download your music or maybe they want to follow you on social media and go to your official website and so forth. Tell everybody how they can do that. 
Well, um, it all starts with the website, and you can go to www.kennyselcer.com. Like cat selcer.com and from there you can um, you can go to my um, Bandcamp, which is an international platform that has um, all my music. I have four solo albums, and I made four albums of the duo in the '90s, and then it also has all my uh, latest stuff, maybe 20 songs that is not in physical form. I'm not sure if I'll, that'll happen, but it's up there. Um, Bandcamp, YouTube videos I post constantly uh, all these live videos some are suspect quality but i mean sound and video, light quality video visuals um i play in a duo a lot these days for about 10 years now mm -hmm. so you can just see that youtube um facebook i'm on facebook <laughs> so uh just look up look me up kenny seltzer s-e-l-c-e-r i'm the only kenny seltzer in the country so okay. that i know of there's one in canada Right. Okay. Well, so, like, and if you missed that, that'll be at the end of the music video we're going to show you, too. Yeah. And uh, speaking of that music video, it's called uh, I'm Leaving This Town. Yes. And uh, it, it's a great song, by the way. Uh, is there a story behind that song? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, back uh, the COVID days, the first year, 2020 into 21, I was pretty isolated. Lost all my gigs. Lost Most of us lost all our gigs. I don't want to, you know, it's not a pity party, but... I was pretty isolated. I didn't have, I wasn't in touch with anybody and it was uh, difficult for me. Um, and out of that isolation, I, uh, I wrote that song, but I didn't want to write a depressing song. So I, I decided to write a song that was a little more upbeat, up-tempo. And, um, um, but if you, if you, if you listen to the words, you can kind of see some of the, um in the back in the back of the song where it came from isolation and um i have to say depression but it was upbeat and then i just met this guy i knew this guy who was a video maker and um he, he said let's make a video and i said okay let's make a video of this song mm -hmm. and um we shot the video from i think september 2020 into march 21 so you can kind of see the seasons change a little bit but we decided that didn't matter that much. I mean, it's a, um, a self-produced uh, video, low budget, and um, and um, came out good. Came out really good. Really like it. Okay. All right. Well, it's, as I said, it is a great video and song, and uh, we're going to watch that uh, just moment momentarily here. But uh, before we begin, uh, I think that's all the time we have for right now, Kenny, and we want to thank you so much for being on the show. If you ever want to come back anytime and plug something new, you're more than welcome to. And sure, welcome. thank you very much. I'm glad I hooked up with you. And you got a great show here, and I appreciate what you're doing. Um, you have so many um, videos. It's pretty pretty amazing, actually. So thank uh, you very much. Thanks for uh, having well, me. I, I appreciate those kind words, Kenny. And um, uh, anyway, in the meantime, let's watch this video. I'm leaving this town, and it starts right now. Got no go, I'm moving too slow. I want to see you once more. Once before I go, I'm leaving this town. Won't be back no more. I'm starting to fade, feeling afraid. Nothing to gain, it's hurting my brain. I want to open the door. Everything that I see Don't know if you can't see It's coming down on me It's raining so hard I am soaked to my bones And I feel like I will never drive I'm looking for my home Yeah, yeah Bye-bye Yeah, yeah Bye-bye. No 
jobs to be found when it's all over and done. I'm up late at night, but ain't having fun. Got nobody to call. Nothing on TV. I'm leaving this town. I won't be back no more. Send best wishes. I will need them when I go. Send thoughts and prayers. Got a long, hard path to hold. Put on my new walking shoes, put the wind at my back, and take a step to who knows where, and then I won't look back. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Everything that I see. Don't know if you can see it's coming down on me. It's raining so hard I am soaked to my bones, and I feel like I will never dry. I'm looking for my home. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Yeah, yeah. Don't go.